Hello, everyone. In a shocking move that has sent shockwaves through the already tumultuous world of the British monarchy, King Charles III has just handed the prestigious title of Duke of Cornwall to his eldest son, Prince William. This isn't just any title. It's the crown jewel of royal roles, a stamp of approval that places William firmly at the helm of the royal hierarchy. For Meghan Markle, the implications of this title drop are like a splash of cold water on her delusions of grandeur. You can almost hear the collective gasps of disbelief from her fans as the curtains close on her royal aspirations. Let's get real for a moment. The Duke of Cornwall title isn't just a fancy name. It comes with a hefty portfolio, including the management of a vast estate that rakes in serious cash. This isn't Monopoly money we're talking about. It's the real deal. With this move, King Charles is reinforcing the family's commitment to tradition, giving Meghan a not-so-gentle reminder that she's not a part of this exclusive club. Her royal dreams all but evaporated into thin air. From the day Meghan stepped into the royal spotlight alongside Prince Harry, it was clear that skepticism was her unwelcome companion. Many royal watchers viewed her as a chaotic whirlwind, a Hollywood you would Hollywood diva, disrupting the old-fashioned charm of Buckingham Palace. And can you blame them? Her attempts to modernize the royal image seemed less like a noble endeavor and more like a desperate cry for attention, overshadowed by an avalanche of scandals. With her headline-grabbing antics, from political activism to reality show-level revelations, she tried to reshape the monarchy, but alas, her efforts were more akin to throwing glitter on a fading star, bright but ultimately ineffective. Meghan and Harry's decision to step back from their royal duties? Talk about a dramatic exit that was less royal retreat and more leave the party before the cops show up. Now, with William secure in his new role, any flicker of hope Meghan had of reclaiming a significant position in the monarchy has been snuffed out like a candle in a windstorm. King Charles's decision is a brilliant chess move, reinforcing the monarchy's grip on tradition and stability. It's a powerful message that says, sorry, Meghan, but the throne isn't up for grabs at your local flea market. The widening chasm between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family has never been clearer. William's ascension means Meghan and Harry are left floundering on the sidelines, desperately trying to carve out their identities in a world that clearly prefers royal decorum over their celebrity antics. But let's not forget the true implications of the Duke of Cornwall title. It's a timeless symbol of duty, loyalty, and a big fat no to Meghan's aspirations of taking the crown for herself. Imagine her facing the reality that her royal journey has been less Cinderella story and more ugly stepsister. The whole saga of Meghan's royal experience has been a melodramatic roller coaster, from her grand entrance to the family to the ongoing strife with the likes of Kate Middleton and Prince William. Every twist and turn has drawn a curious audience. It's almost as if she's been living in her own reality show, where every episode ends with her dramatically closing a door behind her, only to find herself locked out of the kingdom. And speaking of dramas, who could forget that explosive Oprah interview? Talk about a public relations nightmare. Allegations flew like confetti, leaving the royal family reeling, and Meghan trying to play the victim card in a game of Monopoly, where everyone else had already flipped the board. King Charles's elevation of William to the Duke of Cornwall title is more than just a ceremonial gesture. It's a calculated strategy to uphold the monarchy's dignity in the face of ongoing controversies that the Sussexes have become synonymous with. By choosing tradition over the modern chaos that Meghan embodies, Charles is sending a clear message, royal duties come first, and the glitz of Hollywood has no place here. So, as Prince William embraces his new responsibilities, Meghan finds herself back at square one, the mirror reflecting a future that looks increasingly dim. The royal family marches on without her, 
the door firmly closed, leaving her and Harry to figure out what life looks like outside the gilded gates of Buckingham Palace. The monarchy isn't crumbling under pressure, it's standing strong, reminding Meghan that while she may have had her moment in the limelight, the crown jewels will always belong to those born into the royal lineage. So what's next for Meghan and Harry? The future looks about as bright as a foggy London morning, a constant reminder of dreams dashed and ambitions unfulfilled. With the firm grip of monarchy tightening around William, it's clear that Meghan's wild dreams of rewriting royal history are nothing but a distant echo. One can't help but picture her perched in a California mansion, furiously scrolling through social media, trying to grasp the reality that the British public, much like an audience at a poorly scripted drama, has moved on. For Meghan, who had so ardently sought a seat at the royal table, the move feels akin to being unceremoniously shown the door at an exclusive gala. Here's the crux of it. The monarchy is not merely a title, but a legacy steeped in tradition. And Meghan, in her attempts to bring a breath of fresh air, appears to have misread the room entirely. The British royal family thrives on its historical narrative, a narrative that Meghan seems intent on rewriting. But with every attempt, she is met with resistance that only grows stronger. The media, once enamored with the idea of a modern, mixed-race princess, has turned its gaze, and Meghan is left with the daunting task of reclaiming attention in an increasingly hostile environment. The narrative of the royal family is, after all, not just about individual personalities, it's about an institution that thrives on continuity. For every ounce of charm, she exuded, there are towering walls of tradition that simply will not budge. Meanwhile, William's elevation to Duke of Cornwall signifies a robust reaffirmation of the monarchy's core values. It's as if the royal family has collectively raised a glass and declared, here's to the future and to keeping Meghan at arm's length. The crown is no longer just a shiny accessory. It is a powerful symbol of commitment, discipline, and historical continuity. And let's face it, Meghan's revolutionary ideas about modernizing the monarchy seem to clash with the core principles that the institution has upheld for centuries. She can attempt to rally her fan base with hashtags and Instagram posts, but there's no amount of influencer magic that can alter the centuries of tradition that define the royal family. Each title awarded, each public appearance, reinforces the notion that Meghan is merely an outsider, desperately trying to claw her way into a world that has no room for her brand of chaos. The privilege of being Duke of Cornwall comes with financial perks that could make anyone's head spin. It's not just about a title, it's about managing the duchy, which is a lucrative enterprise. The annual income from the Duchy of Cornwall is substantial, supporting not just William, but future generations. It's like having a golden ticket to the most exclusive club in the world, while Meghan is left clutching her DIY invitation, wondering where it all went wrong. In this Game of Thrones, Meghan's every misstep resonates louder than her successes. The whispers of her alleged ambition to be more than just a supportive spouse now seem like desperate, wishful thinking. The more she tries to shine, the more the royal spotlight shifts away from her. The reality is, while she's busy plotting her next move, the monarchy is busy reinforcing its own narratives. What does this mean for Meghan's future? As she navigates life outside the palace walls, one can't help but think she's experiencing a case of monarchical whiplash. After all, leaving the family was supposed to bring her freedom. Yet it appears to have trapped her in a gilded cage of her own making. Her attempts to position herself as a leader in social causes are met with raised eyebrows, particularly when her own royal experiences are under scrutiny. Meghan's strategy seems akin to that of a reality show contestant trying to win over the audience while simultaneously alienating the judges. The hypocrisy of advocating for mental health awareness while living in a luxury bubble has not gone unnoticed. Each public appearance feels like an attempt to play catch-up in a race 
where the finish line keeps moving further away. As Meghan and Harry forge ahead in their post-royal life, they seem to be forgetting one crucial element. You can take the couple out of the monarchy, but you can't take the monarchy out of the couple. The public has an insatiable appetite for royal drama, and Meghan, with her penchant for the theatrical, has become a reluctant protagonist in a story that continues to unfold without her. Every time she graces the headlines, it feels like she's trying to reclaim a narrative that has long since been taken from her. The royal family continues to flourish, while Meghan's own narrative feels increasingly disconnected from the world she once aspired to influence. It's fascinating to consider how Meghan's relationship with the media has evolved. Once the darling of tabloid spreads, she now walks a precarious tightrope, balancing her need for public attention with the backlash that seems to follow her every move. As she navigates the treacherous waters of public opinion, one can't help but chuckle at the irony. In her quest to break free from royal constraints, she seems to have inadvertently locked herself into a different kind of cage, one made of celebrity expectations and public scrutiny. Meanwhile, the royal family continues to function like a well-oiled machine, brushing off controversies with an air of indifference that Meghan can only aspire to replicate. The contrast couldn't be more glaring. While William steps confidently into his role, embodying the very essence of duty and tradition, Meghan flits between causes and campaigns, struggling to find her footing in a world that demands authenticity over spectacle. As the royal narrative unfolds, the significance of family unity cannot be understated. The loyalty and solidarity displayed by the Windsors stand in stark contrast to Meghan and Harry's apparent disconnection. The royal family has weathered scandals before. They are no strangers to adversity. Yet, unlike Meghan, they have shown a remarkable ability to adapt and thrive within the confines of their historical narrative. The gulf between Meghan's aspirations and reality widens with every passing day. The title of Duke of Cornwall is more than just a name. It's a proclamation that reinforces William's role in the royal narrative, pushing Meghan further into obscurity. As the royal family continues to uphold its traditions, Meghan is left to ponder her next move in a game she no longer seems to understand. And what of her ambitions to become a beacon of hope? A voice for the voiceless? One can only shake their head in disbelief. Her endeavors feel like an elaborate charade, where the star is desperately trying to rewrite the script to her advantage. Yet, the public is not easily fooled. With each passing day, her grasp on relevance appears to slip further away, replaced by the shadow of a once promising royal chapter now marked by controversy. As the royal family embraces its heritage, Meghan remains on the periphery, attempting to salvage her narrative amid a sea of tradition that shows no signs of waning. The question looms large. Can she adapt, or will she forever be known as the royal who tried too hard? The stakes are high, and while Meghan dances on the fringes, the royal family marches on, a powerful testament to resilience and continuity. The game is not over yet but the cards are firmly stacked against her. In this grand theatre of royalty, where every move is scrutinised, Meghan's every effort to claw back into the spotlight seems to backfire spectacularly. The public's attention is a fickle mistress, and she is quickly discovering that while the glitz of Hollywood may shine bright, the allure of royalty is rooted in something much deeper, a legacy that refuses to bend to the whims of modernity as Meghan charts her course in a world that feels increasingly alien. One can only watch with morbid curiosity. The clock is ticking, and the royal family continues to hold all the cards. With William now firmly seated as Duke of Cornwall, it seems Meghan's royal aspirations are a thing of the past, leaving her with little more than the echoes of a dream that was never meant to be. So, what will it be, Meghan? Will you pivot and adapt, or will you continue to chase a narrative that feels more like a mirage than a reality? The world watches with bated breath.
eager to see if the former Duchess can reclaim her place in the spotlight or if she will fade into obscurity. Forever haunted by the spectre of a royal title she could never quite grasp. With the royal family moving confidently into the future, it's clear that they have no intention of looking back. Meghan may be a household name, but within the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace, she's but a whisper in the grand tale of tradition and legacy. As the story continues to unfold, the distinction between duty and desire grows ever clearer. For Meghan Markle, the dream of royalty has become a distant memory, overshadowed by the very institution she once sought to change. With every passing moment, she finds herself further estranged from the monarchy she so desperately wanted to embrace, a testament to the enduring power of tradition over the transient nature of celebrity. In a world that thrives on drama, Meghan Markle may find herself left to ponder the lessons of humility and the importance of knowing one's place within the royal tapestry. It's a cautionary tale for those who dare to dream, because in the kingdom of tradition, the crown remains firmly in the hands of those destined to wear it, while others are left to grasp at shadows. As the dust settles on the latest royal developments, one cannot help but marvel at the unfolding drama within the British monarchy. With Prince William now firmly established as the Duke of Cornwall, a title as regal as it is steeped in history, we find ourselves in a peculiar position. On one hand, we have the steadfast heir apparent, who carries the weight of tradition on his shoulders, and, on the other, a former actress whose fairy tale dreams have disintegrated into a tabloid spectacle. It's almost poetic if one can find poetry in the wreckage of someone's aspirations. Meghan Markle once imagined herself weaving effortlessly into the tapestry of royal life. But alas, reality has proven to be a much harsher mistress than she anticipated. Instead of the glittering tiara -ra and the throne she envisioned, she has been left clutching at straws, desperately trying to salvage what little remains of her royal narrative. One cannot help but chuckle at the irony. The woman who sought to rewrite the royal script is now reduced to rehashing her version of events in yet another Netflix docu-series. How quaint. In a world where the Windsor family values tradition and duty, Meghan's attempts to modernize the monarchy have fallen flat. The notion that she would be embraced as a progressive force is laughable particularly when one considers her penchant for controversy. The royal family, with its centuries of history, was not about to take a back seat to a Hollywood starlet who fancied herself a humanitarian. After all, how can one claim to advocate for social change while simultaneously engaging in a public feud with the very institution one sought to join? The hypocrisy is staggering. Meanwhile, William has stepped into his role with grace and dignity, embodying the very essence of what it means to be a royal. One can almost hear the collective sigh of relief from the British public as they watch him shoulder his responsibilities with a steadfastness that Meghan could only dream of achieving. Where she flits about, seeking the spotlight, he remains grounded, a true pillar of stability in an increasingly chaotic world. It's almost amusing to consider Meghan's continued attempts to insert herself into the royal narrative. One could liken her to a jilted lover, desperately trying to make sense of a breakup that was clearly for the best. Her insistence on portraying herself as the victim only serves to underscore the fact that she was never quite cut out for the rigors of royal life. There's an undeniable schadenfreude in watching someone so accustomed to the limelight struggle to find relevance outside of it. In her quest for independence, she seems to have overlooked a crucial point. The monarchy is not a brand to be reimagined. It's a legacy to be respected. In contrast, William has embraced the weight of his new title with a sense of purpose that resonates deeply with the British people. He has managed to strike a balance between duty and modernity, something Meghan aspired to but ultimately failed to achieve. As he navigates the complexities of royal life, one can't help but admire his ability 
to maintain a strong sense of self amidst the pressures of public scrutiny. In many ways, he embodies the very qualities that make the monarchy relevant in the 21st century resilience, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to service. As William ascends to his new role, the contrast between his steady ascent and Meghan's turbulent descent is stark. Where she clings to her past, he forges ahead, determined to build a future that honors tradition while embracing progress. It's a refreshing change, one that breathes new life into the monarchy. Sit. The public has a vested interest in seeing their future king succeed, and William's journey promises to be one of strength and integrity. The royal family's steadfast commitment to their values is particularly poignant in an era where celebrity culture reigns supreme. While Meghan may have envisioned herself as the catalyst for change, the reality is that the monarchy will endure long after the latest Netflix special has faded into obscurity. Her narrative, once so tightly woven into the royal fabric, is now fraying at the edges, leaving her with little more than a tarnished reputation and a growing disconnect from her former life. In the grand scheme of things, Meghan's story serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of modern royal life. While she sought to revolutionize the monarchy, she inadvertently highlighted the importance of tradition and the unwavering values that define it. As William embraces his new responsibilities, he stands as a testament to the resilience of the institution, embodying the ideals that have sustained the royal family for generations. Ultimately, it is clear that the monarchy is in good hands with William at the helm. As he embarks on this new chapter, one can only hope that he continues to navigate the challenges of royal life with the same grace and dignity that have characterized his journey thus far. Meanwhile, Meghan's quest for relevance serves as a reminder that the allure of royalty is not easily attained, and once lost, it can be nearly impossible to reclaim. With each passing day, the gap between the Sussexes and the royal family widens, and the echoes of Meghan's ambitions fade into the background. In a world captivated by scandal and drama, it is William's steadfastness that resonates most profoundly. As he moves forward, there is little doubt that he will continue to emerge as a beacon of hope and inspiration, leaving Meghan to navigate her own turbulent path, one that appears increasingly disconnected from the royal narrative she once sought to claim. In the end, it's a tale as old as time, ambition, desire, and the stark reality of royal life. As Meghan Markle continues to grapple with the consequences of her choices, one thing remains abundantly clear. The crown will always weigh heavily, and for some, the dream of wearing it may forever remain just that, a dream. What do you think about this royal reshuffling? Will Meghan ever find her footing outside the palace walls? Or is she destined to remain a cautionary tale in the annals of royal history? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into the lives of the royals and the drama that surrounds them. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and always stay curious.